Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my basement. <laughs> if you saw the chaos that has surrounded me, you'll understand why I am exhausted and I am brain dead and I'm sunburnt. Even the backs of my hands got sunburnt. I did put on sunscreen several times, still fried. I'm a mess, but I'm here because I'm trying to catch up season two, episode two of the House of the Dragon. And yes, we've been dropped into trauma because why wouldn't it be? I don't know if I want to thank you all. I think so. <laughs> Those of you who read the books and were explaining to me how the blood and cheese incident was a thousand bajillion times worse in the books and how it went down. So I guess thank you also to the showrunners for pulling back a bit. Because <laughs> that was... <sighs> So it kind of reminded me of when I was in high school, we had an exchange teacher. So my drama teacher was an exchange from Scotland. And she was talking about at a recent Fringe Festival performance, a Japanese theater group came and did Macbeth. And even though the entire show was done in Japanese, you as the audience followed along fairly well about what was happening. At the end of act one, Macbeth's crew comes to fight Macduff's people and chaos is in stage as all the fighting is going on between the soldiers and the family running. And at one point, Lady Macduff had a baby and it was a squirming, crying baby in her arms. And then a Macbeth soldier rips the baby from her arms, throws it into the air and impales it on a sword. And the audience gasped in horror. But at the same time, they were in awe because how the heck did they switch real baby to impaling baby like that in front of their eyes? And apparently the entire show, standing ovation forever with people shouting from the audience, kill the baby, because it, it blew their minds at how well it was done. At the same time, it was horrifying. And that's what the end of last episode reminded me of. So what other horrors are we going to get? I guess we'll see. So I'm ready to get to it as well as you. So let's get, I guess, under the cozy blanket. I am hydrating like crazy. So I have my water with me. Let me know what you're drinking. Are you enjoying something fruity fun? Are you staying healthy? Also remember full episode of Watch Along is available on Patreon. So you can see all my motor tics in action while we're watching the show. Okay. Okay. Let's get to it. Oh, the maids, the maids. So they're rounding up all the people, although Helena could describe who was in the room and who did it. Obviously none of the women, none of the older men. You can just, just get away with that. So do you think he's more upset that they they killed his a child of his or they or they just killed his you know what i mean like it's more as an affront to him than the fact that his child has been brutally murdered that's right they're gone the villain will be found we mustn't be shaken by this a little he'd be shaken a little and they will pay Right, we're just gonna escalate and escalate and escalate. Who will pay? Whose ever hand did this or caused it to be done? And what if the hand that's done it is not who must be blamed? The gods punish us. They punish me. Daughter, listen to me. Some good may yet come of this. And where were the members of this council while the murderer threatened their king? Were you also threatened, Your Grace? I could have been! My son is my legacy! I have a thought. <laughs> and where were you? The Lord Commander of my King's Guard. I was abed, Your Grace, having ordered the night's watch. Well. Abed. Well. The guard has detained someone. The man we apprehended is known to us. He's a gold cloak. We caught him, fleeing the gate of the gods with the mm. child's head in a sack. Oh, oh, they caught him. They caught him? 
We would do well to ascertain if this is your sister's hand, or if there is a serpent nestled closer to our bosoms. I suppose you're right, Ironrod. Could be anyone. Could be you. He's dead. Could be He's, dead. You He's dead. He's dead. Lord Jasper is correct. It doesn't matter. You mean to blame Minera? Tell the realm she has done this. I'll have the realm told nothing. I will not be seen as weak. You're already seen as weak, Aegon. And so you would name her monster, slayer of infants. I would do more than that. A funeral progress. Let them see the child. Let them look upon the works of this pretender to the throne. Those who declared for Rhaenyra, will they still support her when they hear of her depravity? Or will they rather not renounce her? Jaehaerys will do more for us now than a thousand knights in battle. Ah. The realm must see the sorrow of the crown. A sorrow best expressed through its most gentle selves. So it seems that <laughs> the women tell the men what to do. Rhaenyra tells Damon. Alison tells everybody else. Do this. Be very specific. I want Eamon. Question. Did Damon say to Blood and Cheese, if you can't find Eamon, kill any of the sons? Or was that a last minute play by Blood and Cheese? I've heard both ways. I hear both theories. Both make sense. But it would seem if Damon said, just kill a son, a son for a son, Jaharis doesn't hurt Eamon. I think Eamon benefits because now there's one less heir to the throne in front of him if he wants the throne. We are representatives of the throne. We have a duty. So this plan seems faulty. Helena, what you saw last night when you came to my room. This is for my boy. They did catch him. Hmm. I was, I was hired by Damon Targaryen. That didn't take much. He <laughs> didn't take much at all. Jesus. A, a rat catcher employed by the household. I don't know his right name. <laughs> wow, man. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Wow. 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 Yeah, me thinks this plan backfired, Damon. Are you gonna hurt me? No. I'm not. But I cannot vouch for his grace. <laughs> you should have ran faster. Oh Jesus. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. He's got the Oh Jesus. You should have ran faster. I don't need to see this. Yeah, I don't need to see that. I get it. I get it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This car is tipping over. This car is tipping over. A curse of Rhaenyra, the monstrous. And they are accusing me of having a hand in this. It appears so. We must send our own messages, denying this vile allegation. I will do so at once, but I'm not sure they will be received in good faith. Let me fly out on Vermax. Rhaenys is needed in the gullet, and I can watch for movements from King's Landing. No. She's not going to risk another son. The damage to our position is immeasurable. <laughs> but it's a lie. Having lost my own son. Slide. That Slide. I would inflict such a thing on Helena of all people. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally, seek relief and retribution. Are you suggesting, Sir Alfred, that my grief drove me to order the decapitation of a child? I perhaps 
An action taken in haste. Mind yourself. <sighs> Did you send assassins to murder children in their beds? That a boy lies dead and I am accused of killing Miss it. Missaria provided me with names and a subterfuge. I was clear in my instructions. I cannot be responsible cannot for Cannot be mistake. responsible. He said to, he sent a raven. We meant to kill the other one. If Amond was not to be found, what were your instructions then? Child. You said that it was your aim to spill Hightower blood. And if not Amond, then anyone would do. You have wounded me, weakened my claim to the throne. I said no. Liar. I cannot trust you, Damon. <gasps> Ooh. I've never trusted you wholly. I have served you faithfully. Have you? Or have you used me as a tool with which to grasp at your stolen inheritance? Oh, Rainer, you're gonna make that claim? Gotta be prepared. He's crazy like that. When Sir Eric brought you the crown, did I myself not place it upon your brow? I think you used my words as an excuse to take your own revenge, to indulge the darkness you keep sheathed within you like a blade. Well, how am I not on my way even now to Harrenhal to raise an army in your name, Rhaenyra? Yours! Because he can't really na raise it in his. Do you accept me as your queen and ruler? Or do you cling even now to what you think you lost? Do you believe he made you heir because of your great wisdom, because of your virtue? Or did he merely use you as a tool to put me in my place because he was afraid of me? Because he knew your legacy. He's not afraid of you. He could not trust you any more than I can trust you. He was a fool. Yes, he was. He was a fool. So how do you rally from this? Rhaenyra, how do you rally from this? We got a lot more show to go. How do you rally from this? You wish to see me, Your Grace? She's not gonna send a sacrifice. Is Raina, is Raina gonna send her as a sacrifice? <laughs> you know, as a... Take Moon Dancer and keep a watch on King's Landing. I depend on you, Baylor. We can afford no further mistakes. I have a feeling they're gonna keep coming. My father? He must follow his own path. Ooh, for, oh, that's where we left it. That's where we left it. Well, someone is definitely dressed for battle. That's like way more armor than <laughs> Sir Rhaenyra's. Auntie, Auntie was wearing. Oh, is he also blaming her for not throwing herself at their mercy? Oh, I could see that happening. That was still in the room. Have you told anyone? About. What do you take me for? One who seeks absolution. There is none for what I've done. About them? Oh, I think it's a well-known secret. So the commander of the command is standing guard outside the dowager queen's room and not the king's room. Is that what I'm seeing? Interesting. I think you're gonna be sent on a mission, Pumpkin. What is this? The procession was muddy. I'll replace it, Hans. Do it now. The white cloak is a symbol of our purity, our fidelity. Who are you so easily sully our ancient honor? <laughs> Where were you when Jaehaerys was murdered? With King Aegon. And you were not in the private quarters where you might have prevented the crime. Mm -hmm. Where were you? Oh, come on. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh. Why is the lady the queen being granted no small protector? Surely once she ascended, she should have... Oh, brother is a thief and a traitor to the crown. Oh. Oh, yep, time to go. Time to go. Time to go. <laughs> First your brother betrays us. And then the young prince is murdered on your watch. You are mad, sir. You have brought disgrace upon our ranks. And now you must restore it. Oh, yep, he's going on a mission. You will go to Dragonstone and strike down Rhaenyra in her own halls. Oh, he's making her go after Rhaenyra. Top god, dog. We will pay the princess back in her own bloody coin. Alone. Does your courage fail you, Sir Eric? I can't even form a sentence anymore. <laughs> the castle is defended against all enemies, now especially. But he's sending somebody that looks like somebody who's already there. Your twin says they're at the pleasure of the so-called queen. They will mistake you for him if you play the part. We are sworn to serve forthrightly, not to traffic in deception. Put down the pretender and you will end a war before it begins. I love how their sanctity and their purity only <laughs> works when they want it to. <laughs> you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Side quest? Side quest. Damon sent them to kill me. In truth, I brow. And he considers me such a foe. Yes, that's exactly how he would see this. He needs a sandwich so bad. I do regret that business with Luke. I lost my temper that day. I am sorry for it. I would remind you only that when princes lose their temper, it is often others who suffer. Oh, it's the blacksmith. I walked two hours today to find a chicken for the pot and paid three times as much as I should have. The king <laughs> has promised us some relief. Did he say when? Mm -mm. And me thinks he's a little bit distracted now to follow through. I hear Lord Corliss himself commended you for your service to him. And what does that mean for Alan? Will you sail with him when his ship has been repaired? He made no offer. And I'd rather he didn't, truth be told. Do not be foolish, Alan. There is a war brewing, Adam. Brother, he owes you. He owes us. Does the stew have carrots in it? <laughs> He's got his priorities in line. He is the king consort. But he is not the king. Neither am I. But I manage. You don't think Damon will challenge her? Such that neither can he allow her to command him. Pity. I have an occasion found that to be quite enjoyable. He also has his priorities in order. The Lady Massaria, Your Grace. Who? Who called for the audience? I thought Massaria was allowed to go free. I know you are entwined with the usurpers. I took profit from an inevitability. I regret it now. Now? I gave Damon two names. That is the extent of it, and I did not wish to do that much. Does he say otherwise? He is gone. For how long? A week? Or forever, I do not know. He does do that. Does Renée, do you remember her from the past? You remember me now. It would not serve me to set you free. At best, I lose an asset to my cause. At worst, you betray me in some foul way. I have no interest in betraying you, Your Grace. I think for the right dollar, she would. The hand. He did not like it when I showed my teeth. But I thank him for it. They will never accept me. How did you get that scar? I was wondering the same thing myself. Oh, so who's hanging? Oh, I was wondering if she's finding. That's where you go. My kid's missing, or my husband's missing, or whomever's missing, and you go and you check there first. Who was I? Rat catchers. Oh. In the king's employ. All the rat catchers. What I do. 
all the rat catchers? All the rat catchers. I take it Otto did not know this happened. What have you done? The rat catchers! I had them hanged. Idiot! Beware how you speak to your king, my lord. The king is my grandson, and my grandson is a fool. He's worse than a fool. He's murdered innocent men, and their wives and children gather now at our gates to weep and curse your name. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. This is now a closed door meeting. With your child's blood, we bought their approval, and you throw it away. At least I did something. I wish to spill blood, not ink. We must act. Sir Kristen Cole has acted. Wait, he knows about the plan? He knows about the plan. The king knows about this plan. And what has Sir Kristen Cole done? You sent Sir Eric to slay Rhaenyra. Alone? <sighs> He's pretending to be his own twin, really. God's help us all. <laughs> it's time the bitch queen paid a price. She's made one already. Instead of judgment, you display impetuousness and diminish us in the eyes of our enemy, ill-considered, trifling. Do you never think of your father, his forbearance, his judiciousness? Neither did you, sir. I don't think you did either. Dignity. Dignity. I want revenge. My father is dead. And we are the poorer for it. Well, Otto, this is a lot of your work. It's a lot of your work. He was right about you. He made me king. <laughs> is that what you think? <laughs> Remove your badge. Sir Otto. Again, sir, your work. You wouldn't dare. <laughs> you think yourself clever, but without a strong hand at your side. Give it to Cole. In this hour, you have proven yourself of more worth than a hundred old men. You will regret this. I hope he does. However, who else is gonna die by this decision? The petty. <laughs> you are dismissed. No shit. <laughs> Now what, Otto? How did you not see this coming? I do not know if I trust you. And I sense that there is danger in you yet. But I will keep the word of my house if you say that it was given. You may go. Your grace. Oh, Ah. Ah, ha, 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 ha. A moment. Sir Eric. So how did she get word? How's she gonna get word up to the castle so quickly? Now what if his brother's already with the queen in the same room? <laughs> or he passes by his brother. Twin telepathy there. Oh, is she signaling from outside? So, Eric. Oh, with Alinda there. With Alinda's dying. Alinda's dying. Believe me, I had no choice. I don't understand. 
<laughs> you were the one who betrayed us, Eric. Alinda, if I were you, I would run. I would run. <laughs> Alinda, get out. <laughs> get out. Both of you get out. Alinda, run and find the Lord. So how do you keep track of which is which? Because I can't determine squat in the dark. <gasps> okay, so one's been sliced. Okay. Oh. Are we gonna lose both brothers? Nobody will be able to tell who is who, so they'll just kill both. Your Grace! Which is Eric? Yeah. We were both together. You partied us! But I still love you, brother. survive man man you know as well as i do that egon must be kept in check as does sir christian the two of them together he's young and unschooled his faith is in steel and bone he has not the long view none of them do they're all they are all on vengeance revenge i should say revenge i can't stay here I don't think he's going to be able to make it out of the keep. The high towers still have strength and you have a son there who will take more kindly to instruction. Daron may yet help us in weeks to come. Wait, there's another son I forgot about? Does he do that often? I got a promotion, darling. Let's celebrate. I now have more power than you. Oh, maybe not. Or maybe he's gonna show his power now. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm hmm So I find it humorous in the hmm, ha ha, hmm, hmm kind of way that the biggest shit stirrers, kickers, whatever, are the ones now lamenting the way things are going. Otto and Alicent, if they had just followed the king's initial wishes before Alicent married, gosh, Otto before, <clears throat> way back when, when Otto was pushing his daughter on the king, Renera had already been named heir by then, right? I think so. We could have avoided a lot of this, but no. You schemed and you schemed and you schemed and you schemed, and then you schemed yourselves right out of power and left it to the reactionaries. <laughs> I do not think that's the last we see of Damon. I like to think I'm a decent strategist, but I don't see a play. I'm not sure what the play here is for Renera. Even though she didn't directly have a hand in this child's death, it is at her feet and perception is everything. But we do see Aegon not helping his cause either. Does that leave room for anybody else to come up and make a play? 
for the throne. And as I said earlier, instead of hurting Amon in retaliation for Luke's death, now you've kind of given him a better play. Because seriously, if Aegon starts to go, ha ha, ha 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 ha, lose favor, he gets taken out. Aemon rises to the throne, right? He's now, he's now the heir, in theory. If you don't count Rhaenyra, Aemon's the next, right? Meanwhile, well, the Corlises are just in Driftmark. Participating yet not. <laughs> Huh, what is the play? And the brothers, the brothers went down together. Ho, oh, oh. ho. We saw it coming, but still. <laughs> okay, okay, so there we go. Episode two, much more left to come and I cannot wait to have you there with me to share in the trauma. So if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. That way, you know, hopefully, eventually, when the next video drops also, in the meantime, please take care of yourself. Wear your sunscreen. I don't know if you can see it, but I got right, right burned out in the sun. So yes, sunscreen, hydrate, eat something substantial, and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all, and until next time.